Hello everyone. In this uh, video, I'm going to demonstrate a small tool that I have created, uh, which is called Glute Combination Generator. So basically, when we are using eTabs or Save software, and if you want to, uh, you can say generate the load combinations. We have two options. Either we can uh, generate the load combination through these uh, default design combinations where a default set of combinations are there and you can edit those as per your requirement or you need to add one by one like this right you need to add one by one uh, load case in the combination and you need to create this so now this is a time taking uh, task and uh, always this default design combinations may not work for you right so for that uh, to solve this issue I have created a small tool which is a load combination generator and this tool is for uh, it has version 19 and above uh, with version 19 it shall work uh, very smoothly and you need to check whether uh, there is any change in the format for the other versions uh, like the upper versions so let me just open this uh, you can say sheet. Uh, uh, so here before opening it as this this uh, you can say tool is developed in my pc so it may not uh, be giving any issue uh, initially but when you will be downloading it in your computer is the first work you should do you just right click on this go to properties and here in this corner you will be giving uh, having one option called unblock okay so just check that option uh, uh, you can say the unblock option and you apply okay in my case it is not coming but if it is coming for you just unblock it and then you can use it easily so just now i will open the tool so here you can see uh, this is the input page where you will be giving the load case Okay. and this is the output page where you will be getting the load combination in the format of ETAB, uh, ETAB's interactive database. So if you go to this load cases here, so you can see uh, in this row, you have to write the load case names as it is written in ETAB. So if I go to ETABs and if I go to load, define load cases, so you can see dead load SDL live one, two, the eq plus x plus y minus x minus y and there are response spectrum cases also for this example i have taken only the static cases so similarly you need to write it in your uh, sheet okay so you can see and then here in this column you can write the load combination number so you can give any number like 101 201 301 like that this or one two three like that also you can give the number okay so this number it is just to you can say for your uh, you can say uh, what should i say for the purpose of your uh, presentation when you will be uh, you can present this sheet very easily right you can print it apply you can attach it with your uh, design calculation sheet so this is for your presentation purpose but there will be another input where you will be giving these numbers and it will be generated automatically so after putting this load case names as it is uh, given in the uh, software program and uh, we can say you can write this load combination numbers anytime so now you have to give the load factors under the load cases which you want to combine in one particular case so suppose my 201 case here i want to uh, combine dead load all the dead loads and all the live loads with factor 1.5 so uh, i have given the factor 1.5 to those corresponding load cases only okay i do not want to add eqx eqi minus x minus y in this combination so these cells you need to keep blank similarly in the other combination i want to add the dead load and the eq i can say plus x so you can see the uh, uh, the factor i have assigned only to the corresponding cases so dead load and eqx so like that you need to fill this okay so this will also help you to document i mean in the documentation of your uh, you can say project work like you can directly print it and you can paste it in your uh, document right and you can i mean if you have more uh, load combinations you can easily drag it and you can i mean more load cases you can simply write those cases here okay it will not be an issue and uh, i have very few cases so i have kept like so once you are done with this input okay remember uh, you can put negative values also basically i have a case with a negative sign that means in the uh, scale factor of the load case itself i have given the negative sign so that's why in the i can say uh, scale factor i mean uh, the combination factor uh, i have not given any negative value i mean negative sign but if you have only suppose plus eqx and plus uh, eqy and you want to create the negative combinations also i mean combinations with negative sign also in this case uh, what you need to do you just have to give negative sign in front of uh, these load factors right 
so once you are done with this okay what you have to do you can click on this generate button so you just click on this generate button now it will ask you what is the combination number for your first combination so my first combination number is 201 right so you can write it 201 this this is totally your input you just you can write it uh, just for your document so you can give it 201 you can click on ok and now if you go to load combinations you can see the load combinations with the names these are generated ok the load combinations with the names these are generated here for your uh, you can say now what you can do uh, you just go to etabs let us define one combination so that we get the uh, uh, option in the interactive data so just click on this add new combo you click on okay okay just one combo random combo click on okay now if you go to edit and if you go to interactive database here if you go to load case definitions and in the load co combination definition you will have this option now if you have not created one combination this option will not be available that's why i have created a random combination so you click on this load combination definitions okay you check this and click on okay so this window pop-up window will come just click on this excel and click on send table to excel okay so one excel file will be um, it will open okay so this combination i do not want so just delete it from here you go to our uh, you can say output sheet where we got all the combinations you select those combinations you click on i mean you control c or right click or click on copy okay you go to the the you can say excel sheet which is generated from etabs you go to the first cell here right click and paste it as text okay so you got all these combinations here just adjust this you can see here right now you do not have to save it you just go to etabs and this pop up window is still there you go to excel and click on this retrieve table from excel okay you click on apply to model remember if there is any mismatch with the load case names that you have written which is given in i mean which you have defined in the you can say etabs so this etabs will give you error actually if the load case names are not matching okay so once you apply it will be giving you error now it is not giving any error that means it is okay now click on done now if you go to define and load combinations you can see this load combinations with the names that are generated okay so you can modify this and you can see how it is combined correct one thing i just want to tell you that uh, in this suppose i have created eq plus x right and i have given negative value here minus 1.5 so in the load case name what it will do it will show you minus eq plus x okay so it will be showing like this uh, because it is formatted like this so if you have minus negative cases so it is better it will be more clear to you okay so this is it uh, you, I hope this this uh, tool will help you very much in your daily work, and it will try it will help you to fast faster your uh, load combination journey. Thank you, and uh, we'll come up with such tools uh, in future also, and see you in the next video.